Uh, hello. Uh, we uh, just before we discussed one case of the Euler Cauchy equation. So let me write it again. Uh, uh, the Euler Cauchy equation is x square y double prime uh, plus a x y prime plus b y is equal to b. So it is a second order. Uh, differential equation uh, but with the uh, coefficients for y prime and y uh, y double prime in terms of a function of x so uh, specifically x square and x so this is the Euler Cauchy equation so for this uh, equation we found that uh, we can make a substitution y is equal to x power m okay and then we can find the a characteristic uh, equation in terms of m square plus uh, a minus 1 m plus b okay so this is the characteristic equation so solution of this characteristic equation gives us the uh, uh, solutions of the uh, of this euler cauchy equation so uh, let me write uh, this solution in terms of the uh, quadratic form formula. So for example, the solution of this equation will be in terms of uh, m. So the m will be equal to minus a minus 1 uh, plus minus a minus 1 square plus uh, 4b or minus 4b will be minus 4b so this solution comes from the quadratic formula divided by 2 so on further uh, simplification we can write it like this so it is 1 minus a by 2 and uh, plus and minus 1 by 4 a minus 1 minus a square minus b so we can write this solution like this so depending on the uh, on this term in the parenthesis uh, we can get the distinct uh, solution uh, distinct distinct real roots of m or uh, double root of m or uh, complex conjugate roots of m so uh, distinct roots uh, case we have already seen with the help of example so let's see what happens when there is a uh, complex uh, conjugate uh, sorry when there is a, a double root so when there is a double root uh, the term in this uh, square root term will be zero which means that in that situation the roots uh, will be m1 is equal to 1 minus a divided by 2 and which is the same as m2 and uh, this term will be 0 so this which means that b will be equal to 1 fourth of 1 minus a uh, square okay and uh, we can uh, rewrite uh, the quadratic equation uh, so we can rewrite the differential equation uh, uh, like this okay so in this case uh, uh, x square y prime plus a x uh, plus a x and that and that is b but for b we can write one fourth of one minus a square is equal to zero and then uh, we can uh, write this equation into this form by y double prime in the standard form is equal to a over x and plus uh, 1 over 4x square into 1 minus a square is equal to 0 so uh, this for this equation uh, we uh, know that uh, now 1 minus a over 2 is a double root okay uh, is a double root of this uh, of the characteristic equation so we can say that uh, one of the solution is equal to 
x power 1 minus a over 2. So we have to find the second solution. Okay, so second solution we can assume equal to some function u times the first solution. Okay, and uh, by the reduction of order uh, methodology or using the reduction of order uh, formula, we can find the uh, second solution. Uh, so uh, the reduction of order uh, formula is it uses the uh, term uh, capital U it is equal to 1 over uh, y1 square that is the first function uh, so first solution times uh, exponent of minus integral p times dx where p is this function a over x so uh, if we if we simplify it so it will be 1 minus uh, over 1 over x square exponent uh, minus p p is a over x so a over x dx and uh, we can see that u will be equal to 1 over y1 square uh, exponent minus a over x so it will be exponent uh, minus log uh -huh. uh, or log x a um, minus a log x okay and uh, we can also say that it is u is equal to 1 over y1 square uh, yeah further simplify it 1 over y1 square so now what is y1 uh, square y1 square is 1 over uh okay i will let me put again again later so it will be uh, exponent log of x power minus a right x power minus a and then what is y uh, y1 square uh, y1 is uh, uh, this function 1 minus a over 2 uh, square Mm -hmm. so and then uh, this is exponent of uh, log x power a so it will be actually this value will be actually x power minus a because exponent and log cancel so x power minus a and uh, what is uh, this value uh, 1 over x power 1 minus a power 2 divided by 2 power square is equal to x power 1 minus a and then x power minus a is now x power a so this is 1 over x only because x power minus a plus x power a is x power 0 so the only thing remains is x so it means that the value of u is x so now we know that small u is equal to capital U integral with respect to x. So it is 1 over x dx. So it will be log of x. And therefore the second function will be, uh, second solution will be u times y1. So which means that u was log of x. y1 was, um, y1 was x power 1 minus a over 2. Or simply we can say that x is equal to uh, 1 minus a over 2 in this case is equal to m so log of x times x power m okay so this is the second solution so the general solution is equal to c1 the first solution x power m plus c2 the second solution log of x x power m or in other words um, in other words, so it is uh, c1 plus uh, c2 log of x times x power x. So this will be the uh, solution okay, in the case when there is a double root. So let's uh, just uh, take some particular example in this case. Uh, suppose the equation is x square y double prime minus 5x 
y prime plus 9 y is equal to 0. So uh, this is the equation, uh, Euler-Cauchy equation. Uh, we, uh, we can write uh, this uh, equation into this format because the, we know that for Euler-Cauchy, the characteristic equation is m square uh, plus uh, 1 minus a m plus b is equal to 0. Okay. Yeah. yeah, m square plus uh, a minus 1 m plus b is equal to 0. Uh, okay, so I should write it like one minus, a minus one over here. So now a is equal to minus five, b is equal to nine. So the equation is m square uh, minus five minus one minus six m plus. 9 is equal to 0. So now we can see that this is a this is equal to m minus 3 squared from your basic algebra. If you factorize it, so then you will get this. Okay. So there is a double root m is equal to m1 is equal to 3, which is equal to m2. So now we don't need to do all these uh, derivations. We simply can apply this formula in this case. To find the general solution so y is equal to c1 plus c2 log of x into x power m which is x cube so this is the solution so uh, you can also verify this solution as well if you like 